hit the button. We're recording. Wait, I didn't even hit clap. There it is. Welcome, everybody, to another episode. Not the same time, even though I've changed my shirt. <clears throat> I'm wearing a, this shirt that I put over any shirt because I've changed my. This is two days later, I think. Or this is a month later. later. I have five of these shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing my Experiment 53. Shout out to. Uh, Anyway, uh, Logan Lynch is my name. Uh, Warwick Price is my name. Oh, wait, and, and oh. We, we are a midnight movie. Oh, Sorry, shit. I yes. totally you that. fucked that up, I dude. I did because I got all excited. All right. What's going to happen? This is anyway. very, and, and I'm Lon Black, and here's what's exciting about it. Today, Lon is not picking the uh, liquor of choice. But, but we should say the movie that we're going to Let's do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, we do it. Which is? Yeah, so we do a mo- we we review a movie. You know, <laughs> so I don't know if you've ever <laughs> seen the show the before. Episodes. I think <laughs> the previous episodes. Yes. Uh, so we re- uh, <laughs> I was about to say Clover again. <laughs> um, the the Clove Hitch Killer is the movie that we will be reviewing tonight from 2018, um, and we also do something else with the um, with. Today, with we pair podcast. a bourbon and spit it out, bitch. I know, <laughs> and normally I would look uh, this way. Right. Yep. But this, today, this time, but this time I'm Logan this Lynch way. has picked the liquor of choice to pair with this movie. Logan, so, I've been dying to know what you picked. Okay. I am, I'm going to do this a little differently. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to fill your glasses secretly uh, and then hand them to you. And then It's we'll, not going to be urine, is it? No. Oh, boy. It's, it's not uh, Irish whiskey, is it? Because so, that's kind of the no, same thing I, as urine. So I'll tell you that much. It's not an Irish whiskey. Okay. Uh, but uh, but basically, I the reason I'm doing it this way is just because of kind of it goes along with the movie in the sense that uh, the Clove Hitch Killer is a person that uh, he manipulates and he likes to leave you in suspense and you're not really sure which way he's going. So that's kind of where I'm going with this. So. So I'll fill up the glasses. You guys go ahead. All and right. Do we hand them? You pour them over the side, or do we need to turn I'm our gonna, back yeah, or something? I'll do it over here so that it'll be off camera too. So I'm scared. Are you I, scared? I, I well, I'm scared. I was I was scared before the absinthe uh, last week. Um, <laughs> and, You're right. And that actually proved to be okay. That not only Although proved to be staying. okay, but clearly it's still affecting your brain a little bit. I, I think it is. I think so too. It was addled before. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing well, over there? Heck? Green you, didn't, you didn't open it before you came? Oh, right. Should we turn around so you so can get the, get I even the did the cork whole, pop? The whole point of this was like, I saw it, grabbed it. I did no research on it either. This is all new to me. And all right. So and you said, because I, I did ask you at one point, I asked Logan, I said, well, let me know like the first three letters or something so that I will not get the same one. He said, oh, you won't get this one. There's Trust me. Yeah. Which again, either means... He knows that you're not gonna like it. <laughs> <laughs> he got he got wild grouse or something. Oh, Am I right? Yes. That's famous what he got. Grouse. Famous grouse. Famous grouse. Famous grouse. I, I've had that before. That's a British thing. Yeah. Famous grouse. Uh, so so do you need is, some this, help? Or? This is where we need to do the um, the, the Jeopardy, plugs. The Jeopardy. Um, oh, we could do the plugs. Let's do some plugs let's while Logan's plugs. fucking oh, with his yeah, his yeah, yeah. yeah let's do the plugs. Yeah. See. All right, if you want to uh, switch so, cameras, we got the camera up, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. camera four. So as a lot of you guys know, um, I am the co-owner with my beautiful wife. Um, you Gulish forgot her name already? Tough. I think her name's Tough. Oh, my God. Uh, Ghoulish Models. <laughs> Duvet. No, it isn't. She'll kill you. Um, Oh my God! Two two eight West Main Street. Two two eight West West Main Street, St. Charles, Charles, Illinois. Illinois. And if you scroll back up, you can see like how cool it looks um, inside. There's some pictures of the store. Those actually were updated um, a few weeks ago, so um, those are actually pretty pretty recent. Uh, You can go to our shop if you want to order online. Uh, We have about ninety five percent of all of our um, prints online, and uh, about forty fifty percent of of everything else. Um, the, in the store, as much as you can order online, there is nothing like the experience of coming to the store. Um, and so that's my plug. Just and then, you, just give you an idea, though, um, we, you might even come to the store and start a podcast. <laughs> you might. You, you, you might. That's you, kind of my story. Chances are there'll be an opening. <laughs> like, uh, and then, oh, you want to uh, switch back? Wait, yeah, well, there we go. There we go. Switch okay, back. Go. I am the owner of. Uh, Monster Purge. We are in St. Charles, Illinois. We are a monster truck excursion. We take a monster truck, 
loaded with paintballs, and we hunt live-action monsters and zombies. It's fun. In the woods with paintballs. We were voted haunt, best new haunt of 2022, uh, and that's the bus. It's Are freaking ready? Awesome. That thing is gigantic. We can give you a quick tidbit here. If you want to go to the website, you'll see it. And apparently, apparently, I'm not connected to your Wi-Fi, because look how slow that, that is. is. really, really slow. No, that's slow. dramatic. <laughs> is that yeah. what it is? Let's see how click qu how fast the video comes up. Oh, it's gonna be like. Wow. We'll go yeah. widescreen. Can we go widescreen on this bitch? How are you not connected to the Wi-Fi? I don't know. Oh, there, there we go. go. There it is. Like, it's an look actual out. bus. That thing is the coolest. See, thing look at that. It froze on me. And you can see the guns in the windows there. Oh, it's so much fun. It's still going, but it's not. All right. Well, it's a good pause on the truck there. Wow, this is great yes. podcasting. <laughs> this is good. Well, All right, anyway, switch back, we, we, switch we, back. We have tap danced um, enough to, to get our drink. To get our drink. So, so what we'll do is we'll we'll take a sip. We'll you know have our two sips if you. If hey, that's a heavy you. pour too, my friend. And, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, um, nothing I, to be I, sorry I, about. I think your urologist is gonna. Um, so yeah, if I got brown urine, that's that's blood. Right off the <laughs> bat, it's a nice color. Okay. Yeah. Got a good a sweetness to it. Yeah, it's. It. Okay, all right. Let's dive right. in, boys. Our sips. It's it's palatable, by smell. It's a little hot. It is a it is a little spicy. It's a spicy meatball. Oh yeah yeah. Um, it. It's got some burn. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of burn. Oh, and it's all in the back of your throat. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think it's going up the nasal cavity at this point yes. now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was just doing that to go, oh, okay. what this smells like. Yeah. Okay, I will say that was super fucking hot. Okay. Mm. So you think it's a little sweeter than I thought it was going to be. So you think rye? <sighs> okay. That's rye, right? Oh, wow. We got Lana squinting over there. It's because of the spice or the heat, or whatever you want to call it. Tang. Yeah, it's funny when you think that um, I think absence is, is smoother. Okay. So if you had to guess, what do you think? We didn't even go over the absence purchase. But Price and stuff, you yeah. mean? So oh, this no, is, we what, what would you think we, we cover uh, this, this whiskey would cost? Um, 20 bucks. 19.99. 19.97. Five bucks. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna do, if, if you'd have said it 20, you yeah. would have won. Yeah, no, no, you no. Changed. I was still under. It is. Kirkland. Kirkland. Jesus Jesus fucking cross <laughs> now, the reason I was so obsessed about getting this was because the first time this came out, I went to buy it and I was like, ah, I'll get it next time. And I literally came the next day, all gone. It sold out. I was like, holy shit, it must be good. So I bought it and I was like, maybe I should open it, try it ahead of time. And I thought, no, this will be a good way to test our palates, I think, because you didn't know what it was. You were able to pick out literally almost to the T how much it costs. Um, I think it's twenty four ninety nine. But now to give a little background, it's a Kentucky, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Um, now it is through the Barton Distillers, the uh, uh, out of Kentucky, obviously, but. Um, it's a bottled and bond. I thought it's going to be decent. Um, it's okay. How, how old? Wait a minute. Uh, this is, uh, from what I, what I did do a little bit of research, uh, I believe this is supposed to be a five to seven year. So oh, wow. we, we should be rating this before we start talking oh. too much about it. Well, we're not, we're not saying it's bad. No. no. So let's, let's do a little rating. Oh, do you want to put this by the camera? Yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, I should have got a picture of it, too. And it's a liter, too. So I was Ooh. like, liter? A liter. That's your measurement. Can you see that? Is there too much glare? Yeah, there's a lot of glare. Close enough, right? Okay. Set her there. All right. So, what do you want? Let's do our rating. I should have waited to have you do the rating first, and then because now you know what it is. You, that would have been better. I think if we rated it before you pulled out what it was. But I will tell you my rating is probably the same either way. Okay. Because you're that honest. Because uh, 
Yes. Okay. Are okay, we ready? One, okay. Two, a three. Padadang. Okay. Oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what is it? Three point two so or two point three? Logan gave it a two point five. I gave it a two point three. I gave it a one. Okay. So if I would have just given it a four, we would have had one, two, three, four, five. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I did not anticipate much from this. I was not expecting it to be anything spectacular. I was hoping for some. I was honestly, though, I was. It would have been awesome if it was like actually really good and everybody would have been like, "Holy shit!" And then twenty-five dollars, and that's why. So I don't know. I think it's just the price point, and I think that you know, the distillery names on it, uh, which some people, from what I had read online, were saying like, you know, that's just them trying to get people to buy it. That, that there is there is literally no one. That buys this and doesn't decant it. Mm. Oh, oh yes, because they don't want that label to show people. No one wants a uh, uh, agreed. bottle on there. Agreed. Agreed. Uh. But decantering this would be like polishing a turd. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can keep that you can keep that by you. I thought it would be fun I, to just kind of see how you know. Oh, it's it, definitely that was a that was interesting. That was a good experiment. I, wanted to, I also was going to pretend like I had pappy. You know what would have been funny though? I think we should have rated it before you yes. pulled out the bottle. Yeah. Only because, you know, it, 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 it might have skewed us. No, I I was still would have given it a one. I still would have given it a one because that that just I, so, you know. So 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 again, and I know we've talked about this before, and I shouldn't worry about it, but it's like my numbering is based on the fact that I gave Zachary Harris a two. <laughs> I gave Zachary Harris a one, I believe. I Did I give it a one? I think so. Because. Damn boy, that sucked. But like, but again, Zachary Harris. I mean, yeah, I, I gave it a two because I'm like, well, surely we're well, gonna just put this down here so it's not even on. <laughs> I don't want it near my side of the table. <laughs> yeah. If that's cool with you. Yeah, it's now it, it is definitely way more of a burn than I thought it would have, and that just that, I thought that okay, that's there. There's that initial sip, but then that burn just keeps going. And well, just keeps coming. I, and, and again, it's in, harsh. In, in its defense. Unlike Zachary Harris, though, I think we correctly said was basically just alcohol. Right. Um, With no flavor to it. This has this has a flavor. But not a good flavor. Not necessarily a great flavor. Not even a good flavor. <laughs> flavor, flavor. I, flavor. I would rather drink Irish whiskey. Really? Than drink that. I thought about doing No that. offense to your no, choice. No, I'm no, just I, saying. I, honestly, I didn't. That's why I didn't try it ahead of time because I, I wanted honest. Okay. My honest opinion and your honest opinion. All right. If I would have tried this beforehand, I wouldn't even have brought it. <laughs> but, but yeah, I thought it would be a fun little just kind of reset for us, right? To to do something that we don't know what it is, we don't know, you know. Let's try it out. I was really hoping it was good so that we could turn around and actually say, "Hey, this was really great," and then, "Hey, so buy it if you can." But I did yeah. update it for the it, last one. So I got so burned. Is and this I updated? Actually got yeah. sweet out of it. Did you get sweet in it at some point? Uh, not really. I think okay. I literally just got burned. I mean, as, as I said, it has a flavor, um, and yes, it isn't a a very enjoyable flavor, um, but it's um, yeah. There's still the burns. I'm dude, like I, four sips in. it it was it was a little harsh burn. I thought, okay, you know, maybe there was still some leftover uh, crap in my palate that I just that was. So you got to give it two or three sips. I couldn't get past two. But but that's why it surprised me that you said it was like five to seven years because like I be it's I a blended it's said, a blended right yeah, is it I a blended it's blend, but yeah they were basically saying that so that means they, they, don't, they don't even tell you really the year on it yeah that, be, uh, that means they have maybe one of the bottles was five years maybe <laughs> or maybe one of the bottles or one of the barrels was seven years and then they blended with a bunch of one year or something because oh, okay. that's why they give it the range because it's a mix of blend oh, I'm sorry it's four years. Four at, at least makes a lot years. more. Oh, at, at least, least, four, at least meaning four. one That's of those barrels works. may have been four and a half years. Yes, yeah, or just literally at four. So uh, yeah, I. I think we should. So can you, you see you, it? You gave a one, Zachary Harris. Yeah, you want to pull it up? We'll show the people. Wow. So we've got we've got a new competitor for uh, worst. Yeah. So and if you look I at the beverage side, the pink side, that is. Uh, Zachary Harris got a two from everybody except me. I gave well, it a one along with this one, and honestly, it it would be a toss up you, as to which one I would have to drink. I I would rather get hammered <laughs> off the absinthe. That was awesome. But yes. you guys both gave Zachary Harris a two, and who gave? What did you guys give this one? Two point five. I gave it two point three. 
Well, you rated above Zachariah. I well, guess and, that's and, something. But. And that's the thing. I said that I do think it is better than Zachariah Harris, so, um, but just not by much. So you think after drinking this, you need a what a bottle? A what a bottle? What a bottle? Oh, what a bottle? They're making it's inside joke. Yeah. They're making they're making fun of me and my British accent, and the way I say water. Oh, what a bottle? Oh, what a bottle? What a bottle? And but that's that, really it's really more of a brogue from uh, well, the outskirts there of London. Yeah, it's, not it's, a, London, it's a London thing. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's uh, a London yeah, thing. Not even like from London. Yeah, London. Yeah. Okay, so anyway. we we watched the movie. We watched uh, the Clove Hitch Killer. Mm-hmm. Shall we wait? Um, oh yeah, yeah, we should. We should rate it? Clove you Hitch. Rate it before I say that it stars. No, you could say that. Dylan McDermott. Dermot McDermott Mulrooney. No. Dylan. Dylan McDermott, McDermott. Mulrooney. And Samantha, I get those mixed and up. Samantha Mathis, which so far because when I was uh, when I was watching it, I was like, oh my god, who is she? Who is she? Oh my god, she looks so familiar. But it's amazing that she was in Broken Arrow. I love that movie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. I love Broken Arrow. Oh yeah, good movie. Okay. All right, I think I'm set. Uh, I'm not because I was talking. Way to go. I'm doing what we do. <laughs> I'm doing what we do. We don't talk a lot on this show. We should. We should talk more. Yeah. Groovy, yeah. wow. groovy. Okay. You ready? All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Uno, dos, tres. Yeah, yeah. Wow, oh. Bork did not Logan like gave this it a movie. Three. I gave it a 1.5. Wow, and Lon also gave it a 3 because okay. Lon and Logan know what movies are, but yes. apparently Warwick does over. not. <laughs> no, clearly, you you know what? I, I, I can't fault you for that. You tried something new, and I'm proud of you. Yep. I'm proud of you for even trying to do it. I'm proud of you for saying... You know what? I heard things. I wonder if this would be good. Let's test the palate. Well, the only thing that made thing. me actually want to get it, because when I looked at it, I'm like, this can't be good, was the first thing. But then yeah. when I came back literally a day later and it was gone, I thought, okay. Either. It was because it was removed from the shelf. Well, there it is. Now, so now I, I wonder if that's the case. Or maybe a lot of people thought the same thing I did. Well, shit, it's almost gone. It must be, let me try it. And right. Then, now that people have a liter of whiskey that's going to You know what it is? Because people saw it in whiskey and they're like, oh. I'll and just buy it because my right, friends won't know the difference. Yeah. I'll mix it with Coke. I, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, that is true. That is the that is Yeah, the this would be right. something like, yeah, you put out for the guy that you're like, ah, this guy's going to drink all my shit. Here, have this. You know? right. but, but, but I think, as right. we've discussed before, I think it's one of these things where the problem with it, though, is it still has so much burn that even with Coke on it, um, you know, well, that's why you mix it with Coke, so you can actually taste oh, it. Oh, other, oh. Yeah, not the Right, but what I'm saying not is, it's, I, I, I think that. The flavor will come through so strong. So that burn will come. come There's through. no yeah. It's the flavor like is not. Red right? Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. All so right. Clovich Killer was the movie. Clovich uh, Killer. Clovich Killer. Did we review? Did we you were the it? one who rated it the worst. Oh. So let's hear it. Yeah. One point five. I just thought this was meh. I mean, it, it was. Um, it just became a cliche of itself, really. Okay. Um, okay. I, I I thought it was interesting in the in the in the front um, or the beginning. Front isn't really a good sure. measure of time, but the beginning probably is. Um, <laughs> but so uh, I I thought it was okay okay in in the beginning. I mean, it's like I I liked where it was kind of going. Um, it just didn't really ever go anywhere. I mean, mm-hmm. it's I thought that there were so many parts in it that I just. You didn't think it went anywhere. No, I mean, it, it's... I get, I get where he's coming from. I, I mean, I just don't think that... Um, I know it's supposed to be kind of a pseudo-take on, on BTK, um, and, you know, this mild-mannered person that was like a friend of the community, and, and, right. and I mean, even John Wayne Gacy is obviously similar as well. Um, but, I don't know, it just, it just kind of went on. I mean, didn't have the didn't have the length of the... Of the it didn't have the the uh, it was too long problem that the last movie from last week um, had, um, but it just seemed to just go on. And the substance go portion on of it wasn't. It felt longer than it actually because I think it was an hour and forty eight minutes. Yeah, it was right, around there, right, right around there. Right around there. Yeah, um, I I see where you're coming from because. You know, you and I are, you know, we like serial killer stuff. So, I, I mean, I, I like was watching killers. them. The first thing I thought of, I'm like, well, that's obviously the, what's his, I can't remember his first name. But it's Dylan. Uh, oh, D- Dennis Rader. Dennis Rader. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I'm like, it's obviously him. Yeah. Um, well, even even, even, even the, down to the even goatee. The 
yeah, and, and, and then, the yeah, and then the whole yeah, like when he's putting on women's clothing and taking pictures of himself. I'm like, Jesus, this is BTK. To that a was T. the best part of the movie, though. Right? Yeah, um, but it was nonchalant. Well, we know Warwick's kink. <laughs> anyway, um, no, but I like the uh, and I, I did, I felt the same way. I'm kind of like, all right, I kind of know where this is going, and you know, honestly, the the turning point, obviously, spoilers for those listening and watching. Um, but the turning point for me was when the sun came in. During his career. Yeah, 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 I was like, I was oh, surprised. Shit. Yeah, I, I was did totally not see surprised. that coming. Um, and then yep. I did think it was kind of odd, but I liked it at first. I was kind of like, what are you, what are, what's going on here? When they went back and explained that, where that he was, came that from, that was cool. I liked I the liked fact that. that he was hiding under the bed and, and, yeah. and all that good yeah. stuff. I thought that was pretty cool how they went back and because then I'm thinking, well, yeah, where, where did he come from? But then they showed it. I'm like, okay, but to your yeah, that could have felt like then that it added, it extended the movie. Like that may have. You, could they have put that in sooner and then just showed him walking in? But yeah, I thought that him walking in with the gun, I was like, oh, that's awesome. Like, that was pretty cool how they, how they transitioned to that. Because even at that time, you didn't realize that the girl was with him, even Correct. until they did Correct. the flash. But then you're like, oh, she's there too. Yeah. Well, and, and, and so, so, so to your point about not, not thinking that the boy was going to um, be there, because obviously, yes, we thought he went away to camp. Um, I thought that it was going to be the girl. I, 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 mm. I, I somehow, I thought that. Jesus, it's still burning. Um, yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wait till it comes out. Um, <laughs> Which I, way? Listen, needles. Um, I, I thought that she, that she was going to be the one that was going to surprise him. Um, I thought she would get captured by him. Was my right, yeah, right. They and, teased and, you with that. They teased you yeah. with that well, on purpose. And, and you saw, and you saw a little bit of that at the very, at the very end, at the, at the, um, when they do all come in the in the same room together, right? Because it's it's like. The son Tyler is kind of listening to the bullshit that, that his dad is telling him. Right, but until, believing it though at the same time. Right. right, and and that's part of the thing that fucking annoyed me. About no, the, the, me too. The, the, me too. Movie. That pissed me it, off. It just, it's like, oh my god, come on! But, 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 because again, he came. The very fact that he went to to um, Samantha, right? Uh, no, sorry, uh, mm, Cassie. Cassie. The very fact that he went to Cassie, I mean, she even calls it out. Yeah. But the very fact that he went to her is that. He thought that his dad was the um, right. the clove which clove hitch, sorry clove witch. I want to keep saying uh, the clove hitch killer. Yeah, but and, he was and, suspecting. He wasn't one hundred percent sure. Right, he but, wanted to get her thoughts on it. But like at the point that she's showing you all of this information, at the point that he sees the the Nora photo, at the, especially at the point that he finds the fucking crawl space under the um, the house. Yeah. Right. It, it, what does like, it take to convince like, this kid? Right. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and now, like his dad gives him the bullshit story that oh, it's his um, it's uncle. It's his uncle. Yep. And I, and again, I get the fact that uh, there's an unresolved part there where it's like you know, yes, the murder stopped ten years ago, and ten years ago is when his uncle had the accident. But, you know, something tells me that maybe his uncle and he and, and um, you yeah, know, the dad did, did the killings. The, and, the way and they, yeah, the way they tied in um, the uncle made me start thinking of, um, I can't think of the two killers' names. One was Ng. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, the, to, the Toy Box killer. Yeah, so uh, the Toolbox killer. Yeah, to- the, uh, I, I felt like those tool guys. Box? Toy Box? Toolbox. Tool. Tool I think box. it's Tool, okay. um, which, man. I've heard that they made a movie the out of audio, yeah, yeah. the audio from that I heard has put people over the edge. Uh, there's audio of the woman there. Well, because they videotape the, uh, like yeah, everything. but they yeah. only play the audio for uh, some of the um, oh for the depositions. Yeah, and, stuff, yeah. and wow. they, these people like left the room crying like it wow. was yeah, it was pretty bad. Anyway, but that's what it, it reminded me of. And I thought, oh, maybe he is part of it. Like so, then then I started thinking, oh shit, am I buying into his shit? You know, like, because I, because yeah. I'm like, oh, it's but he did it so naturally. Like, I'll give Dylan McDerm- McDermott did a great job. Like, he did a good job of playing that character because, you know, you I, honestly, what I was expecting though was the whole back thing was just bullshit. I was hoping he right, was going right, to start right. when he did his killings again. He was going to be like, oh yeah, and just do it. But then when he actually was hurt, I'm like, well, maybe then that's why he quit killing. But you know, I kind of wish they would have done that where he just was fine and the son's like, why is your back hurting or something? You know? <laughs> right, right, right. Um, but that also could be another reason why he stopped. And, you know, like uh, Cassie says, you don't just stop. They don't, right, they don't just, they don't just yeah, quit. They, well, they continue. And it's fine. We, there was a point in the last week's episode um, where I, I was going to bring this up as, as well. It, it's, um, there's many serial killers. There's obviously the serial killers that... Um, are just sadistic and they enjoy it too much um, 
and then there's the people that that I think you know really realize that they have an, a problem. Yep. Um, and and sometimes they, you know, they can't stop themselves from killing. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a um, there's an English serial killer called Dennis Nielsen, mm-hmm. um, and uh, he used to live with his parents and was killing people and burying them in the, in his backyard. Um, Is he the one that got caught? Just because the Rotor- drain got Rotor- 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 yeah, yeah, the drain got clogged. Yeah, and they yeah, yeah. Up, that's yeah. right. That was in the apartment building, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 well, yeah, so, yeah and that, yeah. that's the whole point. So the point is, it's like, so he left, Sorry, he left the um, <laughs> the house that he was living in, and he was murdering, um, you know, these people and burying them in the backyard, and and it's so sick. It's it's like there was a high school right behind, and so like the playing field was like um, right behind where um, hit the the garden was, and like the kids would see them out there like burning. What they thought was refuse, and it was bodies. But it was bodies that, that he was um, burning up. Anyway, the point is, it's he balls, realized man. he had an issue. It's balls. And so he moved to an apartment because he figured, if I'm on on like you know the fourth floor or fifth floor or whatever it was, um, that he didn't have any easy access to a way of disposing of right, of no backyard. He didn't have his own backyard. And that worked for several years until the proclivity kind of came through again, and he killed someone. And so that's why he then started like boiling the bodies. Um, so thinking he just that, ingenuity took over, right? But so, like, I think that's the whole. You know, really, the reason I'm bringing that up is is that whole thing of like they never stop. Yeah. It, it's like you know, when unless something physically happens to them, that proclivity in their mind never goes away. Um, and so I just the thing I just don't again didn't like about this movie was. Um, so it just so happens that this proclivity is, is came back at the point that um, his son starts talking to Cassie. So and, 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 and I do have and an answer for the, that. I, have yeah. a, I think what I have an answer is I think when he was burning the stuff, it kind of triggered that those thoughts. Uh, I agree. Because if you notice, he keeps he's like throwing them in by bits by bits, like just oh here here's a little bit here's a little bit more, and then right. eventually he does okay well here's the last of it. Yeah. You know, but I, you could see it on his face. He was more like, I agree. Okay, I think, shit, I got to pretend like I'm not liking right. this, but man, this is bringing back some good shit. Right, like, I think you know, that's you exactly what it is. Yep. Some shit, right? Yep. Yep. Him, which I is agree, hundred percent. Weird analogy, but but yeah, I, these people I want to kill. Yeah, and I mean, but that was it. Yeah. So now the one thing I didn't pick up on, hopefully maybe you guys did, where does the lucky thing come from? Uh, Lucky's favorite. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, he I, was saying Lucky's favorite, and I'm like, and, and, he, and, he, and he, Cassie was like, oh, it's like, and I'm like. What the, what the fuck's all lucky? So like, if they something? were brothers, maybe that was one of the other's nickname for the other uh, one? They, one brother yeah. called the other brother Lucky? Yeah, I yeah. mean, it, yeah, you're right. You I didn't don't know think that ever was, really but. happened, but obviously he says it um, when he's talking to the, the last girl. Yep. Um, like, oh, Lucky really likes you, and, and Lucky's been following you, or whatever he said. Um, I, I, I think it's funny. The, the part I thought was um, humorous about the, you know, the scene where ultimately he breaks in, is and actually as, as my brain's like processing this right now I, I guess I know the answer to the question but it's why go through the whole pretense of the fact that you're a robber and, and this really isn't you're not going to get is, is that just so she's a little bit more compliant yeah I think it's part so. of the game it's, think, it's a game so. he's playing with he's toying with his victim yeah I think um, that's part of it but, 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 where, but where's the toying because, so, because she doesn't she, know if she's in trouble or not. Yeah, she's thinking, oh, well, I'm not going to scream because all he's doing is robbing. You right. know, she wouldn't put up as much of a fight where he's like, look, let's, let's just go through the motions. i got to get out of here. You know, making it Right, like, here, tie yourself you know, up. Wait, yeah. that's not how you do you it. Know, By got, then, she's submissive. Yeah, yeah, yeah I you've guess. You've got things yeah, like, right. you know, because then you've got, and it's part of the manipulation part for him. She doesn't realize that. Correct. But, you know, I've, I've heard of um, the original Night Stalker, the guy out in California, not, uh, what the hell's his name? Uh, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah the other other Night Stalker. Uh, <laughs> um, Night but Stalker he too. used to do something, um, which I think is probably the, the most fucked up thing I've heard. Um, he would make the male of the house uh, get on all fours, right. and he would put plates on his back. And he would say, if you move, I'll kill your wife. But then what he would do is go in the other room and rape the wife. Right, right, right. And, you know, it's stuff like that, that, that manipulation. And I think that's yep. what he was trying to do was like, fuck, fuck, you know, hey, this is just run of the mill. I, I stole something. I got to get out of here. Just give me your keys. And, you know, it was all just him. He know it's it's sort of like that whole, oh, I know what's coming. You don't type of right, thing. And I right, think that's right. what he was getting totally off agree. on. Totally agree. Totally um, agree. Now, she, that was the other thing is 
I don't think he was doing it for sexual gratification because they said they never found semen. Right. 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 So then to me, then it's like, so he's just in for the thrill of the kill, right? Like he's not. Yeah, but it was beyond that because he's still dressed as a woman. It was still to put him in, in well, and, sexual and he, and he taking positions pictures, and like, taking pictures. Of, and, of that last kill. Right. In last kill, quote unquote. Right. You know, he was of the torture and, as as she was dying. Right, 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 you know? right. Which, which again, I think is kind of stupid because it's it's like, okay, you're taking pictures as she's taking her last gasp. Right, you, you it's not going to get that. Picture. Right, you got to get video for that. Yeah. Yeah. As any serial killer knows, you got to so use video. Yeah, I, mean, I, I mean, iPhones are like right. I originally, <laughs> got, I originally got like an eighties vibe. So I, did 80s, too. 90s, like, I did too. I did but too. But then she but, whips out the cell phone at one point. But, and I was like, whoa, wait. But hold notice on. his what, was what a flip phone, frame? though. He yeah. had a flip phone. That's what I thought, too. I'm like, oh, this is like maybe 2001. Yeah. So, but so in the synopsis of the story, it says that it was set in the, in the late 70s into the. Like the killings happened um, in the late 70s into, into, the, the 80s. In, into the 80s. But then he hadn't killed in at least 10 years. But that would put them in the 90s, and that was clearly a. a, a Smartphone, yeah, right. and, which was until well after the, a the millennium. The 90s did not have a camera on it. Absolutely, they right. they had the the flip phones, but yeah. hers wasn't a flip right. phone. So hers was like, a you know, freaking like iPhone. Like a th- she whipped a out a BlackBerry. A, a, a third, a third of a megapixel, mm-hmm. yeah, you know, yeah, picture. Right. Oh, look at how grainy it is. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, but also the fact, that, like, she was sitting, like, when um, the victim was sitting, um, well, asleep, but the TV was on. That was a flat screen TV that was sitting on the wall. Yes, yes, See? yeah. So that's why I was like, I'm confused. What's I this time too. frame? I, like, was I mean, technically that could be a plasma, but now, I guess. But now, if you think Even about it, that. this is a small town. And, you know, coming from a small town, I do see things when I go back to that. I'm like, oh, God, that feels like it's like 10 or 15 years behind where things are now. You know, yeah. so okay. Maybe it okay. Was just, and the house had wallpaper and it just had this totally outdated look to it. Yeah. So. But then she pulled out a fucking smartphone. And the cars were all... He pulled out a smartphone. Maybe too, early point, right? 90s. And she, they, the GPS on it. Right, the GPS. Know. His oh, that's phone. Right. Yeah. And actually, that, and she, that's they put the an key. app on his phone. Like, that is the key. That <laughs> yeah. is the key. Because, because, because in reality, there's a part where he's at the... Um, the dinner table and and his phone's like buzzing, buzzing all the time. Yep. And, and his mom's like, oh, you know, oh, I'm, I'm going to take it away. And it's like an old style um, flip. Flip, flip, flip phone yeah. that, like you know, yeah. you have to go multiple keys on on each letter to, right. to, to do a thing. Right. But you're right. The very fact that he was able to load an app yep. from the Google for store, geo tracking, no less, that had to have been like late 2000s. It, oh, uh, beyond that, the, it, we're talking the, iPhone, the app. Even well, apps in the so the iPhone 2010. Came in 2007. I think 2007 was the first iPhone. Yep. And and that's when the um, app store. Um, but even that, yeah, apps back then were pretty much links to a website yeah, or no something. GPS they weren't like app, GPS, right. and they weren't the, functional could, the, apps, the, really. You could, the, you could make public. Right? right, so that was until 2015, maybe? I call bullshit on this I, <laughs> I don't think it's real. I think it definitely wasn't the era that they that set the, it up as. I think that was the point of it, though, was to be ambiguous, because then you, you, well, know, you get that feeling, because then it's like they're riding by. And it was sloppy the ambiguous. Car, the truck was old, but it's also like, well, that's their work truck, you know. So the house was outdated, but they're hay in a in a small town yep, yep. and maybe so, just a little the, the other thing I thought was actually um, so, so there's a couple of things that I thought were actually awesomely stupid um, with, awesomely with, with, stupid with, with, with Tyler the, um, okay. the boy was so when he's um, scoping out his dad at the woman's house mm-hmm. um, and then his dad leaves um, and the dad and, and Tyler rather than just going the other side of the, of the hedge decides to try and jump under the hedge yes and, and crawl under the hedge. <laughs> well, the other funny part of that, I'm like, you left your bike ten right feet there away from you. Like, right. Dad your dad would probably would notice that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Hey, that looks like his son's bike. You know what I mean? And so the other part is, so I guess maybe it all happened in the same day, but it's like you kind of get the impression that from the point that um, Tyler is put on the bus mm. to the point that um, the dad, uh, Don, um, goes to the woman, mm-hmm. and then she does the scoping out, ties the rope around the um, thing, leaves. Right. It was probably the next day that he goes back yeah. and does the killing. Yeah. Don't you think the summer camp would have contacted um, the parents saying, hey, 
Yeah, because right. the dad Tyler never showed up. Yeah, you're right because it's been more it. than the 24 hour period or eight. See, as soon as he didn't show up, get off the bus. Yeah, that's funny. No, they, they yeah. like, and especially yeah. if cell phones were around. Like if this was you know regular phones, they could have been like, oh well, maybe he just didn't show up. But like I feel like yeah, they could have um, the way around that. They could have fixed it. Would have been to have. Tyler say, well, you know, I scrounged up enough money to pay for it to do it. Right, 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 right. You know what I mean? The, like, the, then, there was him that was doing it. Yes. And yes. Then that way, then that would have You're right. that cleared that loophole, and then you would have been like, well, good job, son. You know, I'm proud of you. You get another badge or something, and then you move on. But so, but if we're talking about flaws, mm-hmm. so <laughs> you're gonna, one of my you're going to lower your rating on it. Well, I, <laughs> I'm thinking about it. It was I, I still enjoyed the movie, and yeah. I thought the acting was really well done. There were tons of holes. But simply because there's this small town, small town, small town, and the killer leaves signature knots, and there just happens to be (laughs) the scoutmaster who's like a master at knots. Nobody asked him. Nobody suspected him. After all these years, nobody could have figured out that it was him. Nobody could have. So, I mean, but if you I, think I, about it, like it goes back to Dennis. Who's all right in his the fucking was, shed? The guy was at his church. The only way he Dennis Rader You're got right. caught was because he got he, cocky. He got cocky yeah. and he thought, oh, I'll, I'll write a piece of you know, I'll write something on a you know on a one a word doc and put it onto a disc. They can't trace that, right? No, really. And they traced it, but, you know, yeah. So if they hadn't done that, Dennis Rader would have kept, continued going, you know, and. You know, watching those trials, that was interesting to see just his mindset. He's just nonchalantly, yeah, I tied her up, and, you know, and then I think she's the one that I actually, you know, slit her throat. You know, he's just fucking, like, you're like, this guy's a fucking asshole. And then he was an asshole in real life, too, which is insane. Cause he well, was, to, to, his pe- to his family. To his family, but also, like, he was a prick because he would go in, um, he was, well, not a truancy, what are those guys? Um, he, he would check if you had permits and things like that. Oh, yeah, and, yeah okay. Um, and he would just, you know, he'd bitch at people, and they're like, come on, it's like 20 bucks. What, what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> you know? And he was just like, no, follow the law. And it's like, you're fucking killing people, you dick. <laughs> but, but yeah, I got that feeling with the dad where it's just like he, you know, that was his outlet, you know, and obviously it, it ruined his sex life because, you know. Right. He, couldn't he couldn't get off anymore. He couldn't yeah. get hard. Now, the thing I wish they would have, and it sounds gross, but I wish they would have dove into it a little more was were things fine prior to that? Was it the trigger was the picture, seeing those pictures and being like, oh, you know, yeah, maybe yeah, that right. brought it back to like, God, you know, I got past like, that. Like now this, is, it's, this is the only way I'm going to get yeah, off. Yeah, like, babe, let me, uh, you know. So, so, so yeah, the yeah. other part that I thought was stupid yeah. was, was. There's only a few of those. <laughs> was it, was again the whole scene where he's like trying to make out with with his, his girlfriend and, mm-hmm. she, and she finds the, um, she, she finds. The first girlfriend. Yeah, the first girlfriend. She finds the picture yep. down the down the right side of the crumpled up uh, of the um, the car seat yeah. where she's trying to put the car seat back. Yeah. In the truck. Right. Well, anyone who has a car that knows that what's down that right hand side when you open that right hand door falls that's out. That's just fucking fl- flying out. Yeah. It's right. Like, how did something like that get how there? How is that just just sitting there? And at, why recently? At, so it's been ten years. Has it been sitting there for ten years? That's mm. my point. So, so here's That's my no here's my theory on that. <sighs> if you notice before the, before that happens, she says, "Where is it?" And she's going like this. I'm assuming she may have reached down too far, found something you again. Know I mean? But but, but it's still, still, you reach down still. too far to like what a uh, uh, a piece of paper that's been yeah, there for right. twenty oh, years. Wait, hey, what's this? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know the truck wasn't necessarily new, but again, we don't really know the timeline. So maybe. Oh no, that truck was not new. But what, right, but it was a work truck, so work trucks get beaten up pretty damn quickly. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Um, so, but still, to, to the point you just said, he hasn't killed anyone in ten years, and it's been sitting there undiscovered. It's been sitting for undiscovered ten for ten years, and yet she ha- happens to find it. The very fact that he has all of those. I mean, yes, arguably, yes, maybe he he goes in under the crawl space and looks at those magazines, um, but the very fact that he has those hidden away. He, the very fact that he has the um, other little box that's in the tool shed, um, like hidden away, it's like you get the perception at least that he's not actively looking at those pictures. Because again, just like we said before, it's nothing is stopping him from continuing to kill, and yet somehow we're supposed to believe that at the beginning of this movie, um, the the fact that. Um, Tyler 
starts getting interested in looking in the tool shed and uh, you know then talking to Cassie and and looking under the that, that suddenly the spurring point point mm-hmm. like the mm-hmm. whole thing of, of burning the, the pictures I, I, I just I have a hard time believing that someone who has that I mean use the word proclivity again I think that's the fourth time tonight good um, word though good it word. is and it's, yeah. and it's really interesting to say after you proclivity <laughs> proclivity um, but like I just it just is unbelievable I'm sorry it just I can't believe that there is a 10 year gap it'd be one thing if the whole point of the story was that the killer is still out there and, and we haven't found him there's and, been a resurgence uh, or something you know something like that but just I just don't understand how you'd have that that gap again unless he and his brother were the killers and the brother trying to kill himself because I kind of believe that so th- that brings up my question did he though I or was it, hey, maybe the brother found out he was the Clovefish and he heard Oh, him. oh and he the, got the, sabotaged. The, the yes. Dylan McDermott was the yeah. Clovefish and the brother tried to stop him. Yep. And so then he put a stop to his brother. I, I will say they didn't lend any information in any of that direction at all. So right. I think they just left that, that open, not even for you to guess, but just because they were, it seemed more like it was more laziness that they didn't try to dive into that. Yeah. I, the, the movie gave me uh, Summer of 84 vibes. Yeah. And, yeah. But I still think Summer of 84 was better than this. Yeah. Um, uh, but I, I liked it in the sense that it, it had, you know, certain aspects of, you know, true serial killer stuff inside of it. Um, but it was kind of so simplified. I wish they would have done a little more subtle things to, you know, like, you know, I always bring this up, a Silence of the Lambs, you know, where they, you know, he's his wrist is he's got it in a bandage and he's trying to pick up something you know yeah, that's something yeah. that if you're a true serial killer follower if you will um you would know that 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 was ted bundy that did that you know right, right. so there's certain things like that but you know and that's why it was just too simplified where i'm like okay he's putting on a mask he looks just like fucking dennis Rader did in those pictures and right well and also for me it was a um the whole story continued purely for the for the naivete of of the sun. Damn, you're just throwing water. Um, yeah. it's, it's like I'm English He's and know the English away. language. <laughs> Our boys all um, up. We, we both know that's not true, though. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm ready for Texas. We can get him absent more often. Right, <laughs> right. Um, but, you know, it, it's it's the, like, what I would have liked to have seen, not that I w- would have wanted this movie to last even longer, but um, because I did like, I like the, I like the idea that, um, you know, the Dennis Rader side of it, which is basically this is a normal guy that you would never suspect. And it really kind of, you know, the point being the fact that anyone around you could be a serial killer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One of these guys. Um, <laughs> so I, I like that, but like, I wish there would have been a, like, you know, maybe it's this guy over here. Um, like something to kind of like more diversion, more uh, di- uh, to red herring to, an- to another idea, and then you know the reveal at the end is no, 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 it was Dylan. I, I think this was not that kind of movie. I think this was more movie of. Let's say this is a serial killer. What would you do if it was your dad? Yeah. Now yeah. that was the, the point. So in other words, he needed and he to did discover the wrong that thing. he needed to yeah, he needed to discover that it was his dad pretty early in the movie. I mean, yeah. he had all the clues. And he kept denying it. Had all the clues, and the girl was like, "Oh, I've heard. No, it can't be your dad. He's too nice." And then she was like, "Wait a minute, yep. blow on this film." Okay, now mm-hmm. I get the vibe, <laughs> right? But that was the whole thing. It wasn't so much of the insight into a killer. You never got any insight into a killer. It was all point of view of the son. Yeah. So what would you and do if you, you do found out your scene. dad was a serial killer? Yeah. I, 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 okay. No, I, 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 I can, I can right, believe that. I mean, over. No, but, okay. but, but, <laughs> Thanks for coming, everyone. <laughs> right, see you later. Because, because I, I, I get it. I mean, I get the point is it's like if you're a child and, you know, obviously your entire life you are, especially because of how fucking Christian they were, um, you know, they're brought up to, by the way, I fucking hated his friend. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I loved when the girl said, would you just come out already? Yeah, exactly. Right. Like, it was so right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. But, 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 but anyway, but like you're, you're so... It was over the top. Uh, yeah, let, let, let's say closeted, but not necessarily in a sexual way, but like you're so closeted as a family mm-hmm. um, that, you know, when your dad, who is your, you know, he's your... What, what you Scoutmaster. Mentor, dad, whatever, what the fuck... Um, you know, it's when he tells you, no, no, it, it was my, my brother. That you buy it. 
that you the, believe the, it? That you brother, you know, you, you buy it and, and you go, I don't want this to affect my family. Okay, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll go along with it. So I, I will have one other. Uh, see, now you're, I wish I wouldn't have given it that rating anymore because <laughs> I still thought the movie was I a pretty you. good movie, but I will say there was another thing that bothered me about the whole movie. And, okay. and that was the redhead. Uh, uh, what was her name again? Cassie. Cassie, right. Cassie, her mom was killed by this guy. Right. And her mom was one of the victims. And then when she finally found out it was him, and he's like, no, let's not turn him in. It's my dad. She's like, okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, they did kill him after all. So right, I guess but, that's but, but something. But she should have just gone to the fucking police. Right. I right would have said, as soon as he said, yeah, I found your mom's ID and I had my dad burn it, I would have been like, I'm killing you and your whole family. Yes. Right, right. Yeah, exactly. but, but, because the point is like, yes, there was that random moment where she kissed him. But um, that was all a ploy on her. Well, that was a ploy on her part to get him to go into the house. Right. But but the point is, it's like, it would be different if, if they were this long-standing girlfriend-boyfriend. And, right. and he had right. feelings for her. Right. Or, oh, sorry, she had feelings for him. Right. And therefore, it's like, you know... She and she would, sympathized with him in the father right. situation. And I would but have been right. like, fuck like, you and your dad. Again, you don't really know timeline, but like from, from the start of the movie to the end of the movie, two weeks, three weeks... Yeah, I mean, it didn't yeah. seem very long. It's like there is no way that she would have become attached to Tyler enough to let that to let that go. Yeah. As someone that we, we've already established, you know, in the movie, is the creepy person that, that it is fascinated by the right. uh, by the Clovis killer. Yes. You would I think agree. That the second that she had any inclination, even if not complete proof. Any inclination. Bring it to the cops. Well, you were her, taking it to the was cops. Was it her aunt, yep. or who was the person she was looking at? Wrote a whole book about it. Well, that's so, true. That's so, the other so, thing. Wasn't it somebody grandma? I said grandma, but she yeah, said she it's not my grandma. Yeah, it wasn't related, re related but she just hang out with it, hung out with her a lot because she was fascinated with the um, it's story just, as well. But, like, wouldn't you even want to talk to her about it? Like, Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. I, yep. I, yeah, there could have been more. And, like I said, I didn't, I, I didn't, I, I didn't hate this movie, but it was better than I thought it was going to be. Um, and that's why I, I, I would I recommend it if you're a serial killer aficionado maybe you know something to watch just to kind of go hey I could have been BTK or something eh, like that but I like the angle the whole thing is like from the sun what would you do if your dad was a serial killer that I thought was well, a very interesting angle and I, but the second part that I did like was when he gives the son gives the gun to the dad and then God, the dad so pulls the trigger I, I like when that he pulls too. the trigger I'm like Oh, wow. And then he goes after him. I'm like, okay, right. what is he going to do? Just stand there? Fuck right. Him? I would be pissed. I Granted, thought the same thing. <laughs> yeah. But that just shows yeah. us an experience. But. but 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 again, so, so like the one thing I did think was was cool, in quotes, is... Not awesomely um, stupid. <laughs> I liked awesomely is, stupid. I like, I like the fact that when the dad um, like pushed Cassie into the wall, like the son was like, hell no. You know, right, I, I, right. I'm, I'm the you know, pr protector. Yep. Um, but it's it's like there was there was some um, cliched moments, right? You know, it's like the son is close to death, um, and you know somehow Cassie manages to wake up just in time to to, to saw that hit, coming. Hit her on the saw head. that coming. Yeah. I also think yeah. you heard nothing about the woman he was trying to kill. Yeah. Like she she took the bag off. Yeah. And she looked like she was alive. Yeah, but she was, you know, like, barely conscious. She was just, like, breathing but, to... So, okay, so think about this. and Because I, I was trying to... I should have just gone back and rewatched it, but I refused to. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, so... Glowing review. Yeah. So, obviously, he had a mask on his face when she was laying on the couch, right. when he initially got her off off the couch and put her on the, on the bed and started doing the whole, like, you need to tie yourself up. Right. I'm guessing now. I'm thinking about it. It's he didn't actually reveal his face, correct? Until she was already hogtied on on the um, on the ground, right? So I don't think he did until after her. He put the bag over her head. I, I, I thought. I believe that's true. Also, that he okay. waited till the bag was over. I think he waited till he put the bag over her head because it's like now it's cloudy. She's not gonna be able to fucking see me. So don't you think? Like, what was that story of the fact that well, someone came in and took the bag off my uh, my head mm -hmm. like she either died which again you didn't really hear right or she survived oh so you're talking like but the aftermath yeah. like right, after right, everything's right. done and they killed this guy off and she's not well, going to report she, that she was abused or yeah well, i feel like she, she was alive because then she said well she never saw his face so why would you even say that if he was if she's dead you know what i mean like that to me made me think well she lived yeah but she's I, probably like you know what 
I lived through this, uh, you know, I don't even, she could, because I think the girl even said, Cassie even said, it's like, she doesn't know he's quote pitch. So, like, she doesn't, she just thought she just got tied up and was going to get raped or something. So, I, th that was, because I, I was wondering the same thing. I'm like, you wouldn't have gone to the police and said, this guy tied me up and tried so, to kill me? So, yeah. so they had to have, have removed the rope from um, the pipe outside? Yes, they would have probably, that, that's where they, I think they covered it up so that they could do their thing. Yeah, they had plenty of time. I mean, we don't know the timeline there, so they had plenty yeah. of time to do that kind of stuff. If they had the time to take him out to the woods and everything yeah, like that. still kind of out of it, so I think there's only maybe a few hours. That, that would have had to have been, like, pretty damn quick. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because, yeah. because they didn't... Again, it was they, dark by that time. Right, yeah. they, they didn't... Like, Dev and I always, like, laugh at how often it's suddenly oh night see, yeah. see, see it's the, the morning light, and, the and all of a sudden it's dark right right <laughs> you know, right it's, it's like like okay that's and hours all they did was walk 10 feet right, right. And, and all they did was like knock him out i mean I, I i guess i've never been knocked out by a vase but like i don't know that hit him twice so maybe it's like three hours per hit right because hit him across the back <laughs> I, and then i don't, I don't know what the equation is for yeah. That. Yeah. <laughs> what's the math on that let's figure that one out uh if you know put it in the comments yeah. um yeah. uh, but but yeah i mean so like i I know it's a movie. You have to dispel belief. But it's the reason why... That I, you rated it so low. It had yeah. too many annoying things in it. Too many annoying things. For you to get into it. I, think, I get it. I That's think fine. This, if it was like an hour and 48 minutes, I think this could have been an hour and 20 minute movie. I still wouldn't have liked it. Um, like, it's so funny. The two things that both of you guys said are the reasons why I think I didn't, like, hate it. Mm. Which is... I like the idea of, you know, you could imagine this was how BTK was. You mm. could imagine yeah. Yeah, yeah. just as, as like yeah. kind of a, uh, an interest story of like, you know, this is how he got away with it for so long. Yep. And I like what you said of like the, um, what would you do if your dad, you know, you discovered that your dad was a serial color, killer mm -hmm. and he gave you initially a pretty plausible um, answer as to no, 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 it wasn't me. You know, it's like what would you do? So, so I, I kind of like those as aspects of it, but it's like again, overall, I'm like, uh, yeah, I just didn't think it was that good. Okay. All right, you're entitled to I, your I, I don't necessarily think right. you're far off. I think, <laughs> but generally, I, I think he was probably more onto it than I was. But <laughs> again, you guys are more the uh, serial killer uh, I experts do like my in, serial this, uh, yeah. in the show than I am. Yes, but. Anyway, are we? I, I think did, I, did, I, did, 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 did you, you have want to do trivia? some trivia? Uh, oh yeah, shit. Yes. Because I, I had. All right. Oh, uh, you got, I'll let you do yours. No, 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 no. I had oh. zero the trivia. The only thing I had is pretty sure the leadership camp would have contacted the family when Tyler didn't show up. Okay. That's not trivia. <laughs> no. It's That's just, just an annoyance. It's just an annoyance. Okay. <laughs> okay A gap so in the story. See. Oh, he has pictures. I did pictures just because I'm lazy. Um, well, I'll, I know one off the top of my head. Uh, do you know the troop number? 22. Nice. Oh, wow, good for you. Uh, they showed it several times. They even yeah, they said it in the show a couple times. They yeah. kept referring to um, it. I do know I did have your favorite. Oh, we didn't even go over this in the other one. Uh, what's his uh, license plate number? Uh, uh, of, the, of the van? Of the truck. Of the truck. Pickup truck, yeah. Uh, the work truck. I don't know. I thought actually could another good question, which I, I should have done as trivia, which is what was the name of the company? I do know that one. But uh, okay. That was the brothers something, his Burnside name, brothers, Burnside Brothers, right, right, right. Uh, It was 57K PC4, and it was a Kentucky license. I was going to say the state would have been good to know on yes. that one. Kentucky, yes. huh? Now, so um, this is what made me no start accent. questioning the Nobody timeline. Had an there was an article that uh, Tyler was reading, and it said a local woman found slain. And yep. in that article, there was a time of when she, I think she, when she went missing. Let's see. Yes, it was when she was found dead. Date and time. Do you know that date and time? Um, this might lead a little credence to what we were discussing. June 1985. You got a guess? No, no guess. It was December 5th, 1995. Oh, 10 years off. Uh -huh. so and that now, was the first kill. So... This was. Not, I don't think say. they don't. They don't say which kill. I it think this was one probably one of them. But that's the thing is now. Then that made me start thinking. Okay, this has got to be later well, than do, I originally. Do you know did. what the name of that one was? Because because was that or, that was Marissa Salcido. So that wasn't Cassie's mom. No. Yeah. No. 
So that was that was so, then I started going, oh shit, man, this must be. And then I saw the cell phone. Because later. because one of the things I was going to do, but again, couldn't be bothered, <laughs> um, was to go back and look through when he's thumbing through the licenses. I'm assuming. The, 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 well, no, the, the name that um, Cassie gave for her mum. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, actually, Tyler gave the name yep, you know, of, of of the mum. Um, that I'm assuming that would have been in the list of like yeah it again was. stupid he, he fucking it. thing. It's like why wouldn't Tyler have just kept the stack of, of driver's licenses? Be, uh, you're right. I, I got pissed off at that too. That he let his dad burn him or made his dad burn it. You know, it's because like, he was still trying to save his dad at that point. He was still thinking, all right, maybe if well, you want to see Well, was he saving his, his dad family. or was he still assuming it was the uncle? Yes, exactly. Uh, I think maybe. that's the point. Is it's like he was assuming that yeah, maybe like, so. his uncle can't do anything. You know, uh, what harm? Why are you he? keeping it? Yeah. I know, just stupid. Okay. Well, uh, thanks for coming, everybody. <laughs> oh, you got more trivia? Yeah, no, no. Uh, let me see if I've got one more in here. I mean, I, we kind of are. Well, well, we'll do it a little further. What was the woman's name? What uh, woman? The there were lots of women. No, oh, Nora. Nora. Oh, good. Okay, there yeah. we go. So we'll end on a good note. They had her last name there at some point, too. But yeah, I think when well, you researched well, it, Because Nora. I think she was, she was on the, one of the license plates. Nora right. Dunn license. That was the one he, driver's license. Yeah, he driver's license. originally figured out, though. Remember, that was the one he looked up because he's like, yeah. he saw Nora. He oh, that's right. He saw her face. Well, yeah, yeah. Which, <laughs> whatever. Another thing, looked up on the internet. Yes. So. Using AOL, probably. No, that was the problem. That was like Compu Google. Serve. Oh, right. And you're, they can't use Google, right? Yeah. CompuServe. But, uh, but, yeah, so that was, I mean, there was a lot of little things. Like, I was even going to be rude and ask you guys what kind of instant uh, mashed potatoes were in that, that they were putting away. But it was called Always Safe. But, anyway, little things like that. But, uh, you know, it, it was, it was a, I would recommend seeing it once. Yeah, I think it's worth seeing if you're into the serial killer. But I like the angle. Excuse me, the angle of what would you do if your dad was a serial killer? If you want, if you like that, watch it. I think it's still a good movie. Yeah. I, I, just not a great movie. So, so okay, okay, okay. You know, I think it's one of these things where where I would not recommend you watching um, Skin and Rink. Um, right. Please I would don't. say that the if literally you have nothing else to do, and this shows up on your favorite streaming service, and you've already seen. Uh, the house that Jack built. <laughs> and you've already seen the house that Jack built. Um, I, I would give this. I, I would give this a go. I, I do agree. I th- I think, uh, like I love Dylan um, McDonough in um, all the American Horror Story yes. um, episodes that, that he's or series that he's been in. Um, I think he is an underrated yeah. um, star. Yes. I, I I really do. I think I th- I like the way he acts. Um, I heard he got the part because multiple people came in to read for uh, American Horror Story um, and they're in uh, if you haven't seen it by now it's like 12 years old but whatever <laughs> um, there's the scene where the, the first way you meet him is he's jacking off in front of a window mm-hmm. yep. and he was asking like the first everybody else was like do I have to do that and he was like so which way do you want me to stand or something like, <laughs> like, he didn't care he was just like I'll do it and so they're like we're choosing him <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. but that's what I mean like yeah he I think he did a good job. Like, he kept the whole back thing. I was hoping that was a big ruse. But, yeah, just the way he played the character. And when things got tough, you know, he would only have outbursts when nobody was around or nobody, you know, people didn't see that. I, I loved it when he was on the bed and he was like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You know, it was things like that because then yeah. I'm like, because yeah, he's got to be the one who left I was not else, happy so. with that scene. Yeah. yeah. But. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, truly, if there's nothing else on. Um, you you can watch this, I guess. Yeah. Um, Warwick gives you the okay. Yeah. We we took an hour to talk about that movie. Anyway. Anyway, uh, as always, thank you so much for uh, watching. If you have any ideas of what you'd like us to watch, like comment um, subscribe. Like comment subscribe. Well, that part isn't like like comment subscribe anyway. But um, give us comments. Uh, like us on Facebook and Instagram, and and you can talk to us there. Um, and thank you. That's all from me. Social media. Oh, social media is going to come up somewhere there around you go. there. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's um, it. That's it. Well, not up there, because then that's only like that much space. Yeah. Okay. But it'll like, be, like, like down there somewhere. Maybe we'll cover our face. Too. Yeah, it'll definitely yeah. Cover, cover Logan's face. Yeah, we, yes. we, you go, pu- we, you, we strive please, for that. Please do. Yeah. Okay, long enough. Thank you anyway. very much. Goodbye. Love you. Bye.